Now I'm not surprised that many species and animals enjoy a rub and a scratch. Tight, young fella. <laughs> Apparently rubbing a lizard's tummy is a real phenomenon. It's been documented that warthogs visit mongoose troops. The mongoose get protein meals from the parasites off the warthog's skin. The warthogs are unaware they have parasites. They enjoy the tactile sensation the mongoose deliver. With them, we will we'll kind of rub their shell, we'll scratch their neck a little bit. I was not surprised that reptiles also enjoy a scratch. What surprised me the most was that turtles can sense tactile pleasure through their shells. It's for sure Gabriel loves to groom and be groomed. I groom him back with my hands and fingers. But on this day, I wanted to try something different. I used a cat and dog undercoat fur remover on Gabriel. And guess what? He loved it! Like most mammals, their undercoat fur thickens in the winter and sheds in the summer. I think their skin gets more sensitive to the sense of touch, encouraging them to rub it off. You'll see cheetahs rubbing on trees, branches, and the ground in response to the added itchiness. I even built this scratch pad in Gabriel's camp so he could help himself. This cat brushing. Get some of that, that winter hair out, out of him. Hey, buddy. Hey, Gabriel. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, hello. Oh, it's good. This always breast smells good, too. It was a little bit sour the last few days. It's, it's better now. So I just basically scratched Gabriel back. Uh, he's grooming me. I'm grooming him. And I'm at the same time checking on his health. And I can feel his body. I feel his muscles. feel his skin. It's nice and smooth. His breast smells good. His purr sounds good. Yeah, buddy. He's happy, he's moving real good. Mobility, no problems. Now, if I can use this, uh, this cat brush on him. I use it the other day, so he's, he's, he's familiar with it. Look at this, buddy, look at this. Yeah. Get all his hair off him. He's already got, look at that. It's already on me. Oh, there you go, look at my arm, buddy, look at my arm. Yeah, oh, yeah, buddy. There you go, let me use this on you. I think it's a lot better. Yeah. I love the way Gabriel's just so, so close. You know, it's very, very personal, very quite personal and trusting. Yeah, buddy. But he wants to play too, I'm sure. He wants to play. Yeah, he wants to play. That's what I'm scared of. It, uh, he gets really rough like he would another playmate. It's, it can be frightening. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's, that's your fur on there. Yeah, that's your hair on there. Yeah, buddy. That's your hair on there. Yeah. You done? Oh, you done, buddy? Yeah, buddy. I'm collecting Gabriel's hair as fur. You done, buddy? Oh, you done? You done? Wanna lay down? Oh, lay down right there? All right, good boy, that's good. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, now that's pretty cool. That's what I want. That's how I used to do it. Then I can get excited. Oh, that's perfect, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Relax there with me. Oh, that's nice. Now I can get all of his fur. But it's also very nice that Gabriel, you know, that's, that's yeah, how you measure love from an animal. And this is it. Trust, right? Oh. Yeah, buddy. So let me make a habit of this. Um, this is what I used to do as a cub. He used to sit right sit in between my lap. There's no one that does this with Gabriel. There's no one, it's just me. There's no one else. And that feels good, look at that. You see his skin crawl. So you really can't brush that. He's a coalition friend to do that. That's why it's good to have friends, right, Gabriel? And unfortunately, he doesn't have any. Uh, it's just me. I mean, he's got people to come see him, to pet him, but not this. Um, Gabriel's too dominant. All right, enough talk. Let's listen to him.
not too hard either. I don't want to hurt him because he does. He can react violently to pain if he thinks you caused it. So it's just gentle, just gentle. What you smell, buddy? What you smell? What you smell? You smell something. I'll get this out. I'll collect this fur and leave it here. I can't take it with me, but I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a memento out of it, like a wristband. That's my, my goal. Get this on quickly so I can re let me do this for him. There you go. I don't want him getting up yet. I don't want to get all this hair, much as I can, off of him. Undercoat. What do you smell, buddy? Huh? What do you smell? You smell something. And this is what he do it himself, too. He would groom himself, but he can't reach the tough spots. That's why I need a coalition friend, like up in here. I think they rub against you know, trees and things. That's true. No, it's not the same. You have a coalition friend that can do it for you. And I got fur all over my hair, all over my uh, pants here. Yeah, Gabriel. I like that, buddy, huh? I like that. This is a good position, too, him pointing this way. I mean, I'm always cautious with Gabriel. I mean, he's not a house pet, not a house cat. The way he's facing out this way is just much safer for me. If he gets angry, he could spin around and I have a chance to, you know, defend myself. If he's smelling something, it's probably food. I don't know what he's smelling. I only see his skin crawl when I hit right there. Something itchy there. That's good, huh, buddy? Something itchy, huh, buddy? It's just so nice to share time with Gabriel. I mean, I don't care how dirty I get. How many ticks I get on me? Actually, I do worry about ticks. I wear long pants normally. I check myself every time I... I'm done. You done, buddy? What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing, buddy? That's good. This really helps him get the undercoat off. It's getting hotter and hotter. It was 93 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday. I mean, blazing hot. And, uh, you know, the, these cheetahs, they shed um, seasonally in adjustment to the conditions of the environment. You know, that right there, you can't get that. So that's really itching. I can already see it coming off. You know, the itch response is, you know, you make you scratch it and you scratch off that undercoat. So it's, it's nature's design. It's, it's, you know, we don't have the same experience, you know, but as humans, but all these wild animals with this big fur do. So this is good, Gabriel. I'm glad you let me do this. I'm always apprehensive about Gabriel. Like, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Can we lay down again? Hey, but come here, lay down again. There you go. Come here, lay down. Oh, that's nice. There you go. There you go. Oh, he's gonna play with me a little bit. He's gonna play a little bit. Yeah, buddy, go play. Oh no, bite my, my. Yeah, don't bite my. There you go. Here, let me get my arm. Get my arm. Get my arm. There you go. Get my arm. Yeah, and I'm on my pant leg. There you go. So now he wants to play. See that? But he was grabbing my pant leg and my skin underneath there. So if he, these animals, if they, if they know that there's skin there, they're not gonna hurt you as much as they would if there was. Uh, the fabric between it because they don't know. They know not to bite skin. Yeah, buddy. So you want to play there. I'm going to let him play a little bit. Oh, I get to brush him. He didn't have any, he didn't have any playmates, so I'm it. I'm it. Yeah, good boy. You're gonna play now. There you go, play. There you go, play. There you go, okay. A little bit of play. A little bit of play. That's okay. Yeah, play to play. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you know. So, brushing's over now. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, buddy. I know. A little bit of play. The thing is, not to, not to resist it. Yeah, buddy. I know. I know. I know, buddy. I don't want to get too rough. I know, buddy, I know. Now, I know Gabriel so well. I knew this would end up in a play fight. It's growly and scary and a lot cuter when he was a cub. But there's no one else he gets to play fight with. Just his thin-skinned human friend who hopes his bond is strong enough that he never takes it too far. It's a nice place. going to go play a little bit. That's good. I don't have this because he might chew on it, eat the rubber, so... 
Yeah, Gabriel. Follow me. <laughs>